Joyce Omondi to the world and obviously that journey begins right here on The Trend. There is a lady who, <laughs> I don't know if she can give a, <laughs> if she can give a Joyce Omondi competition, but this girl, she can sing. This is the Jam of the Week and remember right after the Jam of the Week, I will be speaking to the one and only Joyce Omondi. But right about now, watch this talent. Imeshika kama strungi. Just watch this. Oh, would I do without your smart mouth? Join me on your kitchen wheel. Got my hair spinning. No kidding, I can't spin your tongue. What's going on now? And yeah, and right about now we have the one and only Joyce Omondi. You have a beautiful voice, Manzi. That performance was amazing. What do you think about the girl who just sang right? <laughs> Why are you putting me on the spot like this? Because time? I want you to know she's a child of God. Please <laughs> motivate her. <laughs> I think even as children of God, yes. I mean, you know, maybe you have a different talent. Yeah. Yeah. And maybe so. she should model and probably not sing. <laughs> Yeah. You, we, let's not force these things, India. We can't force, by the can't way. Force these you things. know what? Even God requires excellence. Yes. So you have to put in the time. You have to put in the e effort. Uh, just bring your best. Amen. So today, Joyce, me, I'm gonna be a bit realer because okay. I come from a home where my dad is a theologist. Uh -huh. So I won't dwell on the questions where we can find them on Google or whatever. I really want us to get down into being spiritual. Okay. And the state of affairs in terms of the Kenyan uh, gospel music fraternity. Okay. But before we do so, for anyone at home who doesn't know you, yeah. if you don't know her, man, <laughs> you need to Google. But <laughs> tell us a bit more about yourself. Who is Joyce Omondi that we haven't, story we haven't had before? Aye, that's a story we haven't had before. Maybe we'll leave. Maybe we'll leave. Maybe we we'll, Maybe 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 we'll, I am a wife uh, to an amazing husband called Wahiga Mwara. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm also a gospel musician, a TV host. And I just love life. I love God. I love people. And uh, I just want to be a blessing to guys. When did this journey begin for you when you said, ah, Manzi Kumbe can sing. This is something I want to do. And then, uh, then you also decided I will sing for God. You know what the funny thing is? I never actually intended to be a singer. So I've been singing and I mean, I've been playing the piano since I was a kid. My dad got me a piano when I was mm -hmm. four years old and mm -hmm. upright. I still have it to today. And you play, yeah? I play, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I was playing in church. So I'd always just play for guys and then they'd be like, come and sing, come and do this solo. And I'd just do like one, one, but it was just not my thing. But so once I tried writing a song, it took me three years to write. It was so bad. It didn't even end up on my first. You're it's like under lock too much. Am I people no, are telling no, you no, 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 it, yeah. it yeah. wasn't a great It was just song. bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and commercially, you know, sort of putting yourself out there. This began in 2013, I think. Yeah, 2012, Maybe. actually. 2012, yeah. Um, and then in 2013, I won an award. You won so an award. And how did that, how, how, what was the feeling from, I can't write great to, hey, people think I'm actually amazing. And then they're awarding me for being amazing. Imagine, yeah. man, it's humbling. It's humbling because you know this country is full of talent there's a lot of people doing wonderful things so I think it was mostly just like that whole surrender like you know what I'm just gonna give this a shot let mm. me just try it out um, and stepping out and that's what I did with my first album that's what I did with my second album and I think the more people like give themselves a chance to try something 
you get better at it. Of course, yeah. there's critics and there's, you know, constructive criticism. So you learn from it and mm. you grow from it. But that's the way that you grow. Being a gospel artist, you definitely have to be very vulnerable. Yeah. You let yourself bear to everyone to look at your public life, your private life, yeah. the content that you put out there, everything you do, how you dress. And we come from a very conservative, um, you know, nation, society. Yes. So how is that for you? And I think you've lived in the States, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so how... Is that journey for you? Because I know in the States, I think I've watched, maybe it's a lie, when you watch uh, churches in the States where people wear big hats and they can <laughs> wear minis and they can show their sleeves, you know, and, and whatever. But here, people will be like, what, what is she doing? I what guess it depends, yeah. Because, yeah. um, you know, uh, I served in a black American church once where it's those ones, you know those ones where you... Yeah, Baptist. Yes. With yeah. your lemon face on. Mm. <laughs> um, so it was a lot of that. There were no minis really, but there was a lot of big hats. Yeah. Um, then I've served in a different church, which is much more urban. And there we'd wear jeans to church, like when we're leading worship, which is different for me from my church here. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, but you know what? At the end of the day, salvation really is, is very personal. And I always say it's about your heart and, and, and God. Yeah. So. And, and, and that said, in terms of your journey, you have one, one album then the second album yeah. and now you have this big amazing concert that you're going to be having on Saturday I'm so excited. which we're not going to talk about now we'll just <laughs> give people hints slowly slowly just so you guys know this lady Manze today before she came here she had like a five hour rehearsal <laughs> and her and her band members are tired but they keep pushing and pushing and pushing <laughs> with the success or the challenges that come with releasing an album and yeah. two albums yeah. and with planning a show yeah. what keeps you going and I know you say God, <laughs> but what wakes you up in the morning and probably you wake up and you look at Bay, you're like, <laughs> where we end Dao Kaimbe? He's like, where end Kaimbe? <laughs> but what makes you wake up and say, I, I'm not gonna stop, I have to do this? You know what, I think one of the biggest things with me for life that scares me is missing out on God's purpose for mm, my life, mm. or just missing out on what is supposed to be your destiny. So understanding that every single one of us has been gifted something mm -hmm. that you're supposed to outpour into people's lives like it's not just for you to be selfish you yeah. know what i mean yeah. so that gets me up in the morning because i'm like you know someone somewhere is counting on this word of encouragement mm -hmm. right now i do not feel encouraged i do not feel this but someone somewhere is looking for that hope looking for inspiration looking for positivity and you know with my life and with god, what god has blessed me with then i feel like i have sort of a sense of responsibility even yeah, to yeah. to take out your goodness, take out your positivity and bless someone. Put it someone. out there. Put it Let out there. Bless, bless people. Someone. It's about other people, not about us all the time. Absolutely. We can't to be Maini, selfish. Yeah. Your brand new jam. Yes. You you literally walk this. I've, 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 I had to watch a couple of your interviews, had to see you hosting other people and really there's a lot of you speak a lot of hope. I do. Yeah. Um, so To Maini is actually a song based on Jeremiah 29 11, which has been my favorite verse ever since I was a kid. Mm -hmm. um, it got me through a really difficult time back then. And so it's just one of those verses that I've just shikiliad. Like I'm just like, eh, this one is mine. Yeah. Um, so I finally wrote a song about it and that's what Too Many is. So we released it um, three weeks ago. But I think, you know, life is tough and it's tough for everybody. And I think if you don't have hope, like it's just, it's like, Ten times harder. Mm. And so hope for me is that one thing that all of us can lean on. And for me, obviously, that's God. Mm. Um, that he provides that just peace and counsel and guidance just to know, by the way, my life is in his hands. Mm -hmm. And whatever I go through, even the bad things, are going to count for something. Yeah, yeah. I like that. Um, I'm going to ask you a couple of, I want to know a couple of things oh based on a... Uh, you and B and stuff because oh people see the same thing when you go online all oh, she was surprised by why he got first first before that because i know you've lived in the states and you yeah. all your interviews you always speak in english i don't know if you know some sheng you know what a yang is? No. And you're a yang? Ah, it's a lady. Yeah, it does speak Shen, imagine. <laughs> I'll be floating here. I, I know. Lazima would Lazima would raise the vitu ndio. Ndio, you know, tembea kwa mtawa. Sama, Joyce, manze na kupenda. Ula sama, eh, ndio, Buddha. Fiam. Do you know what it is to be Tururu? No. How do you? Ujai pigia msimu tu simu alafu ikwa Tururu? It's 
mteta e, apart yani, yani nikikombea sasa hizi for example uh. ukiongea kizungu mimi niko tururu like you umehata yani ni, ni, you see unajua hizi vitu so <laughs> That's it. Is is Wahiga watching the show? He is. Yeah, just so you guys know that guy from that station is watching this station. <laughs> I was just wanted to make sure you guys know that because we are dope like that. <laughs> uh, so, what is the one thing about Wahiga <laughs> that annoys you so much? Oh gosh. That you can say it and at least he won't be angry because he'll still do it tomorrow anyway. <laughs> so, what is that one thing he does? You're like, Wahiga, please mm. stop. Waihika, so we have completely different personalities. Mm -hmm. I'm introverted, so I just don't gain energy from like crowds all the time. After something, I just need to go and retreat. Waihika is an extrovert. Okay, so me, I'm all about He's like, quiet. <laughs> He's lit. He's lit. He's lit. So we have all about quietness, him, yani, yake too. So I'll walk in the house. When you come into the house, if I'm alone, I'll just have one electronic on. Yeah. Wahiga will have the the news is on but yeah. on mute. Uh -huh. He's listening to music and then he has like a laptop yep. and he's working and I'm just like how do you deal with all that? To me that's chaos. That's, but yeah. for him that's just how he functions. What is your couple go to like song? What is the one song that you listen to when you guys are like we are about to clean up this house <laughs> or we are driving to go see our in-laws <laughs> and there's this one auntie who looks at us weirdly. So before we get there, we're going to get our energy <laughs> like this. <laughs> what is that oh one song gosh, you guys so listen many. to? <laughs> I need to think. <laughs> what is that one song you guys listen to? And probably you tell us later. But before, yeah, I'll think, yeah, about I think it, you sorry. have to tell us. Well, uh -huh. you guys, are you snitching? <laughs> this girl is snitching on our marriage. Anyway, um, tell us about your upcoming gig. And I love that you perform live because Thank it you. allows you to you know, engage with your yeah, audience yeah. in different levels. Absolutely. Uh, why live for you? Yeah. And what... Tell us all about this concert, what is it about, yeah. and why should we be there on Saturday? Awesome. So this concert, again, why live, is just for exactly what you've said. There's a way that when you're doing live, you're just unrestricted. Mm. You can change up a song, you can repeat the chorus however many times you want. Yep. Uh, although band was na kasirika na your story. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> band was na kasirika nini. So you've heard them. <laughs> Have you heard these people? I don't know. Nivile wa mepractice. Kwa mea bandi ya wa Kenya wa nasumbu. They look, by the guys, they look at me right now like... Eh, what are you going to call them? I'm going to call them. Probably we'll call them and so they can say hi to... You know, Joa, wazazi wa natako. Na yiki jana yungu wanafanya... Oh, I'm going to shout out. Vitu ya maana na Joyce, eh, anafanya kazi. So yeah, any but I understand. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, but I mean, there's just that freedom that comes with um, doing live. So uh, this Sunday, 17th March at Kenya National Theatre is my very first live music experience. Mm. I'm so excited. Um, it's, you know, I've done two albums now and I've never had my own event. I've performed live several times, but this really is a chance for me to just throw myself out there, just share my heart and my mind with um, those who loved my music and resonated with it. Yeah. So it's going to have some of my amazing friends, Evelyn Wanjiru, Alice Kimanzi. Evelyn Wanjiru is an amazing singer. Yes, yeah. and uh, Highest Praise Band. I mean, these are guys that I personally really admire. Mm. And uh, my second album is called Spirit vs. Soul. So this is, the uh, the event is called Rejoice. Mm -hmm. It's a play on my name. Mm -hmm. um, and this is the Spirit vs. Soul live edition. So mm. these guys, I think, really embody what I believe gospel music is and should be. And so it's just going to be an awesome time of praise and worship. Uh, my band is really I hope you guys, guys. can w look at the poster that is on air. Yes. You need to be there on Saturday. You need to be to there. Be What's there. Please. Tikiti, yeah. una bonyeza two star, two, two, nine mm, star, mm, three, three mm, hash. Yeah. Yes, say dear, because uh, in a don't want any. I should. 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 Umekwama, umekwama kusema nini? So, you know, nilikuwa nafanya hivyo ndio nijue kama hii inahonga tu mayenge, mnapenda gatuku, makizungu mingi na ndani yenyu tu ndani mna umtaa. <laughs> <laughs> so, we are going to play your jam uh, to many langu, but before we do so, yeah. uh, is there anyone you want to shout out because you know as an artist every time I go on a TV show, I always want them to ask me manzi and to Please say hi to some people want you to like say hi to them. So who do you want to shout out today? <laughs> and also, I think you're, go yeah, you're going to look at uh, that camera three there. Okay. And you're going to introduce your song. But before you do so, please shout out to your band members. Yeah. Who, by the way, just, just please, just these run. Are just, these run are only here like and stand three here of behind. them. Quickly, this moment. Come on, guys. Behind, 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 behind. Yeah, like that, like that. Yes, yes, yes. Enjoy, enjoy, like enjoy. that, yeah, like that. Quickly, 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 quickly. <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh. So, so this these is are who? just three of them okay. out of the 12. 
we. or 11 that we are. We. Uh, so here we have Noel, he uh -huh. plays our second keys. This okay. is Lucas, he uh -huh. plays our first keys. And this is Kogi, who's my male vocalist. Awesome, I'm doing that because a lot of times we forget the guys no, at the back. Yeah, absolutely. It's like our cameramen here are amazing, These and camera are women, they're amazing. So now, <laughs> shout out your people. Wahiga, yes. keep watching NTV, thank you very much. <laughs> and yes, <laughs> shout out to the one, I call him the one he kept for me. And no, he's not watching, it's only today that he's Wahiga, watching. Wahiga, thank you so, so much for watching NTV. We absolutely <laughs> love every Every morning we love, we see your tweets. Thank you for hashtagging Hey Anto. Thank you so much, Wahiga Maura. We know how much you love NTV, thank you. And <laughs> yeah, even you, you know, where else would she have gone today? <laughs> Siange, apa tu? Wait, can I give my <laughs> shout out? Yeah, I'm getting my, me, I'm getting my money. Oh, <laughs> me, I'm trying to get my money. <laughs> anyway, shout out to the rest of my crew that's born to worship band. Shout out, of course, to my amazing husband, Wahiga Maura of that other station. Say I'll shout, just, yeah. I'll save you so that you get your coins, okay? <laughs> And uh, I just want to thank my family as well. I know they're watching. And to everybody who's already bought their tickets, uh, this Sunday is going to be absolutely amazing. Can't wait to see you guys at Kenya National Theatre. Cool.